Grammar 4, Chapter 17, Adverb Clauses, Part 1. The Learning Objectives. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to understand the fundamental principles of adverb clauses, demonstrate the ability to use adverb clauses to show time relationships, demonstrate the ability to use adverb clauses to show cause and effect, and express contrast using even though. Also, Express direct contrast using while and whereas. Use if clauses to express condition in adverb clauses. What is an adverb clause? Let's take a look at this example. He saw Ahmed when he was in Riyadh. And they studied hard because they had to test our adverb clauses. Adverb clauses express when, why, opposition, and conditions, and are dependent clauses. This means that an adverb clause cannot stand by itself. In other words, when he went to Jeddah is not a complete sentence. It needs to be completed by an independent clause. For example, he went to the Janadria Museum when he was in Riyadh. Punctuation. When an adverb clause begins a sentence, use a comma to separate the two clauses. For example, as soon as he leaves, we will go with him. When the adverb clause finishes a sentence, there is no need for a comma. For example, he wrote me an email when he came to school. Now, let's take a look at the most common words used to introduce adverb clauses of time. Now, these words are expected to be understood and memorized because you will create examples on your own. I'll read them for you. After, before, when, while, as, by the time that, as soon as, since, until, whenever, the first time that, the next time that, the last time that, every time that. Cause and effect. Here are the example words. Because, since, as, as long as, so long as, due to the fact that. Continuing on to contrast. You would use although, even though, though, whereas, and while. Now with condition, you would use if, only if, unless, whether or not, even if, Providing that, in case that, provided that, in the event that. Now, adverb clauses to show time relationships. Number one is after. For example, after he graduates, he will get a job. And B, after he had graduated, he got a job. This is the present tense. Can you guess what B is? B is the past tense. Number two, before. C, I will leave before he comes. D, I had left before he came. A and C are present tense. B and D are past tense. Please note that a present tense, not a future tense, is used in an adverb clause of time. Number three, when. This equals at that time. Let's look at the examples. E, when I arrived, he was eating on the table. F, when I got there, he had already left. G, when it began to rain, I stood under the shelter. H, when I was in Demem, I visited the museums. And I, when I see him tomorrow, I will talk to him. Number four, while as. This is also during that time. For example, J, when I was walking home, it began to snow. K, as I was walking home, it began to snow. Notice, the present perfect tense is used in the main clause.